If you are a fan of compact, powerful PCs, then Intel has a treat for you, because they just revealed their next generation Dragon Canyon NUX. And these things look absolutely insane from what we know so far. And actually, the biggest change here is the upgrade to Intel 12th generation Ord Lake CPUs. And these brand new NUX will ship with either a 12700 or a 12900 non-K CPU. That's right, Intel are so confident in the cooling in this tiny, tiny case that they'll even ship it with a Core i9. Stepping up to Intel Old Lake, and the new LGA 1700 circuit also has other advantages, primarily PCIe Gen 5 support. And while we don't have any PCIe Gen 5 cards right now, the PCIe Gen 5 16x slot that's present in here will be a huge win for this NUC when PCIe Gen 5 graphics cards finally start appearing on the market, most likely in late 2022. One thing you're not getting, however, is DDR5, because even though these 12 Gen CPUs do support both DDR5 and DDR4, here you're stuck with only DDR4. Now seeing how the price to performance ratio of DDR5 compared to DDR4 may not make too much sense on Intel Oil Lake, that is still a massive feature that they're just removing, and a big option that they are not giving consumers. And especially in a NUC, these kind of features are important, because memory is that special thing that can improve performance while not generating a lot of heat. So for a very temperature constrained environment like a NUC, Good fast memory is key. However, looking at the big picture, the lack of DDR5 shouldn't affect your performance too much. But if you feel like you are lacking performance in this snuck, then don't worry. Seeing how Intel's next generation Raptor Lake 13th gen CPUs are also most likely going to use LG 1700, well, as long as the chipset is also compatible, then hopefully you'll be able to throw in a 3900 or whatever in this thing in the future. Or if you're just crazy and have too much money, seeing how these are just normal socketed LGA 1700 CPUs, you could just throw in a 12900K or a KS when that comes out into this thing to replace whatever chip it originally came with. So the options are there. Add to that more features like Thunderbolt 4, Wi-Fi 6E, and you have a really, really impressive look on your hands. But let me know what you think of this thing down in the comments below. I'm very curious. And if you want to buy a Intel or Lake CPU yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. Down there, you're also going to find our Patreon. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, Carmen Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herdman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down there's also our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.